We have come to celebrate the woman of the Lord who lived for God and died in God. We ask you to bless this occasion as we celebrate, continue to lift up our praises to God, accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. We thank you for a good life spent and for a good heritage left behind. That is what we are celebrating. Father, Lord, accept our thanksgiving. We thank you for all the things that we have done for the service today and for this climax. To, to you be the glory and to you be the honor. To you be the praise in Jesus' name. Wash mama what's in his palapal? Why in his alanga was our was? Not balaba for nanga mawala wal aye. Baby papa ni chevele. Nesavana ni telele. Le piano ni yegele. Yelele. Aye. You want to start to the shame when it get the party buff in la wekele. Wekele. Happy yere ama kekele. Yekele. Aye. Ubi di soga. Ubi di soga. Mere cost quanta. Mere cost quanta. Don't be small matter. Don't be small matter. They say from Niger, they say from Niger. Who be this matter? Who be this matter? Where they do yanga, where they do yanga. Carry my standard, carry my standard. Why you don't like that? I beg. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we're about to introduce the beautiful children of Mamo. I'm not calling her Mama tonight, I'm calling her Mamo. We want to welcome the beautiful children of the. Um, Woman, where we are all gathered here tonight, blessed memory. She's survived by beautiful children. Um, the first among the rest is the is the man. Uh, hey, when I meet the man, he's a man in all ramification. That's Mr. Femi, and then we have another beautiful lady. Her name is Buki. And then we have another son, but due to some reason beyond his control, he's unable to be present physically here tonight, but he's here with us in spirit as well. And last but not the least, the most beautifulest, I know Sister Buki will come for me, the beautifulest of all them all, beautiful Sister Lola, and to, all together, they'll be dancing in with all their lovely children. That is grandma's grandkids. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I know some of us are still eating, but I'd like everybody's attention to be focused to that door. Please, can we all focus our attention to that door? Because that's where the beautiful children and grandchildren of mama, or sorry, mamo, We'll be dancing in shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, I know some of us want to celebrate them. I was told many of us here traveled out of state to fl you flew in to come and celebrate with this wonderful set of people tonight. But please just hold on. Let them get to the dance floor if you want to show them love in our Nigerian way. DJ Jeezy, DJ GP, are you ready, sir? All right, ladies and gentlemen, please, I want everybody's attention to be focused on this door as I present to you the beautiful children of... Follow by the four, hey, 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 hey. Don't forget to reserve the two XO for the DJ. We go shy out we fall, better get them. Two cents, eh, for ting, one less, eh. What's can let be? It's sweet for bed, eh. This opportunity, one make you take a shot. Like a bottle of booze, if you take a no, no. Aye, eh, they be papa ni shevele. Nesavana ni telele, le piano ni yegele, yelele, aye. You want to start to the shame with it, yeah, yeah. Want to be more feel like wekele, wekele. Don't be yere, I'm a kekele, yeah, yeah, wele, yeah, aye. Ubi di soga, ubi di soga. Mere cost quanta, mere cost quanta. No be small matter, no be small matter. They say from Niger, they say from Niger. Ubi di smarter, ubi di smarter. Mere do yanga, mere do yanga. Carry my standard, carry my standard. I don't like that. Achoo. One, two, three. 
puta ci gada Odi mesto, ma ci droppa un po' senta O va robe, sti di fa di meta Ma ti rest look like se te villena One, two, three, puta ci gada Odi mesto, ma ci droppa un po' senta O va robe, sti di fa di meta Ma ti rest look like la Aie, te di papa ni shebele Ne savana ni gzelele Le piano ni yegele Yelele, aie Ladies and gentlemen, please i want you to give the children of my mom a resounding round of applause. Please put your hands together for them all. That was so beautiful. All right, right about now, quickly, the party is not over yet. We want to have my mom's bi biography. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the singular honor to welcome one of our brother, our uncle in the building. Please, if your hands are not busy, I'd like you to jam your hands together as I welcome one and only Mr. Ade Williams. Please, can you put your hands together for Mr. Ade Williams? Mr. Ade Williams. Please, let's give him a round of applause while he's coming forward. Mr. Ade Williams, we are waiting for you. Mr. Ade Williams. Mr. Ade Williams. Mr. Ade Williams. Mr. Ade Williams. Okay. Oh, wow. He's a respected man. Okay. Please, can you give him a round of applause once again? You're welcome, sir. God bless you. Over to you. Good evening, everybody. It's uh, indeed a, an honor for me to read the uh, biography of uh, somebody that I called, uh, that I dearly call my home, that uh, our children does. Deaconess Olautoi on Surat. Excuse me, sir. Samuel. Excuse me, sir. Yes. I'm ready. Um, please, can we have... Um, can we have a moment of silence, please? Please. Mommy's on the tables, please. Please, let's remain quiet, please. Please. It is very important because of my balance, please. I want to let them know I, do it. I did a good job. <laughs> please, let's maintain decorum. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Deaconess Olomo Toyi Monsura Samuel was born on the 12th of August, 1951, yeah, to the family of Alaji Moshu Alaka and Alaji Alajabs Sariu Ajike Lanion, both of blessed memories. Olon Otoyi, who is fondly addressed as Mamo by her children and men. Mamo began her elementary education at St. Mary's Convent School, Lagos Island, then attended Amadia secondary grammar school in war in Oshun State in the 60s. Her career journey began at the Lagos State Development Corporation, LSDPC, as an administrative personnel. Mamo's love and passion for humanity informed her decision to go into nursing profession. She attended the School of Midwifery and Nursing in the Lagos State, Nigeria in the late 80s. Having successfully completed her nursing education, Mamo worked at several hospitals in Nigeria, Lagos Island Maternity, Massey Children's Hospital, Lagos General Hospital, General Hospital at Jegule, and finally retired at the Akodo General Hospital in Bejuleki after 30 years of service to humanity. Her story cannot be complete without mentioning her ministry, work, and service to God. Mamo was a devout Christian who took her faith very seriously. Her, de her love for God and the ministry is, without doubt, the most important part of her life. Mamo was an ordained deaconess who served the Lord at Four Square Gospel Church in Boshere, Lagos Island, for many years. During this time, she faithfully served in the Sunday school ministry where she taught scriptures. 
While living in Chicago, Illinois, she attended Four Square Gospel Church in Chicago under the pastoral leadership of Reverend Gabriel Farumbi. Mamo connected with many and had countless who looked up to her as a mother and a role model. Her life of giving was felt by many who knew her. Mamo enjoyed birthday celebrations, holidays, and loved reading cards. Mamo was married to Mr. Olufunsho Obashola Samuel, who is deceased and is blessed with four amazing children and ten grandchildren. Her role as a mother and a grandmother was played with so much affection and nurturing. She had a fond nickname for almost all her children and grandchildren. Mamo was full of life and compassion. She was very strong. She was a very strong woman of faith who lived an exemplary and fulfilled life. She was the lover of family and is survived by many siblings and cousins in Nigeria and in the diaspora. Her last moments on earth were spent in Chicago, Illinois with her siblings, Mr. and Mrs. Balogun and Ms. Kende Yagbaje, who supported her until her passing. As a matter of personal privilege, I have to say a word or two on behalf of uh, our family in Dallas that I am privileged to represent. I, I met Mamo about seven or eight years ago, and she had a tremendous impact in our lives in Dallas. Everywhere she goes, she impacts. She truly loves God. And one of the things I will miss dearly is our prayer. Has Mamo ever prayed for you? Huh? If she's prayed for you, you know what I'm talking about. She's truly committed. And our prayers, at least for me and my family, is impactful. I would miss it. And I want to say here to the children, I was just confessing to Felix that it was it, that it's really hard for me to to dance and celebrate because I really miss her, and I know that you miss her more because you've known her all your life. But it really is hard. She's gone too soon. This is a time that she really. I feel like we should be celebrating her her birthday that she wanted to celebrate so badly when she turned seventy. Your family, you know what I'm. But nevertheless, she's lived a good life, and she survived by beautiful children and great grandchildren. And so we are going to celebrate her. Only God understands what happened and why she went so quickly. But I also believe that she's in a much better place, a place where we're all striving to go. So we are thankful that Mama has gone to be with her Lord that she loves the most. So for that, we will celebrate her. But I still tell you, it's hard for me to, to get up and dance because I would, I mean, I can just imagine if she was here. So, thank you for the privilege of, uh, you know, jizzing her this way. And I know that she's in the bosom of God. There is no doubt in my mind that she's there. And so, it's, I was flying down here. I was asking God, what can I say to the children? What do you have for me to say to the children? And to my most children and grandchildren, find something, something she liked, which was either the hospital where she served, her church in Nigeria or here, do something in her memory. That's what God has laid upon my heart to tell you. Find a way to do something in her memory. And she would appreciate it. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. They said the word of elders are the words of wisdom. Um, that was very beautiful. Thank you so much, um, Daddy, for giving us that uh, biography of our dear Mama, Mamo, as she's fondly called. Tonight, um, I think it's a day of Thanksgiving as well, you know. 
like our daddy just said, is a day to thank God for the good life that she spent. Because one thing that I've realized is some people have lived eventually 90 years, 100 years, and people cannot really say a lot about them. You know, while some people will live a very short time, but they have a lot people can say about them. Tonight, I'm going to be giving the privilege to very few people because of our uh, time to say one or two things about Mama before we run it up tonight. There's something I know about African mothers before I call people to come forward. African mothers have different way of disciplining their child. You know, my mom happens to be someone that looked like my mommy as well. And once I'm seeing her picture, she's, she's reminding me of the memories with my mother. African mother is the only one that when visitors come and they give you money, African mother will say, bring it, let me keep it for you. Ladies and gentlemen, my mommy has been keeping my money since when I was young. Up till today, she hasn't given me one cobble out of the, all the money she kept for me. <laughs> African mother, please change your way. Change your ways. If you now have the audacity, if you now have the audacity to go and ask your mommy, like, ah, mommy, the money that you know the visitor used to give me, where is it? Now they will not start all this talk. You will hear. Eh. You want to collect the money the visitor has keep giving you, Abi. Do you eat at all? The clothes you are wearing, did you buy it by yourself? Eh, your school that you are going, your school dress, school uniform, who bought it for you? Is it not your responsibility before? <laughs> African mothers, they also have different way of disciplining their child. There's something they call, it's like this, they call it a barra. If an African mother give you one at the back of it's like there's a way, they have a particular position, they always put it. It's a place that your hand, if you go from bottom, it can't reach it. If you go from top, it can't reach it. And it's a three reaction, three stage reaction. Once you hear that apparel, the first thing you do is, is run. You first of all run away from that scene. When you now get to where you are going, you are now, you now remember that they just gave you a barra, and then you start crying. There's another one. They call it Iko. If they give you in the middle of your head, you can drink water from it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is a stick in every African kitchen. They call it stick for cooking. It is a scam. It is not for cooking. It is for discipline. And if they don't, if they cannot find anything to discipline you, there is also something they call it bro. It's not for sweeping up. Know? It is a lie. It's for discipline. In fact, in my culture in Yoruba, they say you can't beat a male child with a bro. It is a lie. My mommy beat me several times with a bro. And, you know, I still have a son. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen, somebody. And one of the things I realized about African mother is. Especially the ones that wear glasses like Mamo and some of my beautiful mommies here. When you take them something that is shocking, a very shocking something, like saying, ah, mommy, ah, I am pregnant. I don't know why. The first thing they will do is remove their glasses. In my head, what is the correlation of hearing wear with glasses? And then my mommy, I tried many times to teach her how to pronounce the word WhatsApp. My mommy will say, What's up? I said, Mommy, it's not what's up, it's WhatsApp. Mommy said, hey, It's the same thing now, what's up? I said, Okay, okay. Mommy said, What? She said, What? Oh, yeah, say app. She said, App. Oh, yeah, call it together, WhatsApp. She said, What's up? I just gave up. I gave up. There's something that happened a few years ago. So I was, you know, 
I don't know if anybody knows jam. There's a test we always take in Nigeria. Did anybody write, take a jam test? That jam test, I wrote it four times. The first year, I had 196. 196, I remember. I wanted to study medicine at University of Ibado. The following year, I had 197. The third year, I had 198. You can guess what I had in the fourth year, really. <laughs> So I have been sitting home for three years, no admission. So I went to visit my cousin in OAU. But because I changed the environment, I think I was reacting to the water. So I, I was sick. It took me to the hospital. Illiteracy is a disease, though. I love my mommy to death. But can you believe I called my mommy from the hospital bed? Mommy! I am sick. The doctor said I have typhoid and malaria. But mommy said, oh, well, what is wrong with you? That good cause in the maca, 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 maca. I said, mommy, uh -uh. I said I have typhoid and malaria. In fact, they said they are going to admit me. I will be here for another four weeks. Mommy said, ah, uh -uh. four weeks, get it. Ah, uh -uh. four years, no good of you now. Four years, no more, no bit. But the mommy, that is not what I'm saying. They are not going to let me go. She said, eh, can I go to my wife? Eh, what can I do? And one of the things that I realized about African women, especially the one in America, they always treating their children with McDonald's. Any small thing now, you are going to work in McDonald's. Why? Is it not people that are working in McDonald's? I didn't know some of these children. Anyway, don't let me pause so much talk tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, at that junction, I want to welcome someone that would like to say something about Mama. I'm going to throw this to, the, to just three people tonight because I know many of us really want to dance tonight. And for us to have flown our legendary, living legend DJ all the way from Nigeria for this event. Uh -uh. We have to dance a lot. On that note, please welcome Mr. Abiodu Agbosasa. Agbosasa. Please give me a round of applause. Mr. Abiodu Agbosasa. Eba Mishawani 40. Ah, sorry. Eshawala Tewa now. First, I want to say thank you, everybody, for participating in this uh, memorial service for a sweet mom, Mommy Nate Samuel. Um, she's a very lovable, lovable mom, daring, caring, everything, everything. She has this extreme passion for God, zeal. This zeal for God, this is one thing. Um, my mom knew me when I was real, real young. That's Freddy, he's one of my best friends. We went same primary and secondary, blah, 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 till we got here. So I'm very deep in the family. So I'm like their own brother. And the only thing I can say about Mama is that Mama is just everything. Everything you can describe for a mother, she is. As we, as a child, group of friends, we go over to mommy's house. She welcome us, she do everything, advise us. She play, she open our door. She has this open policy. And then she talk about God. I'm missing her, seriously. I'm missing her. But I know God loves her the most. She's in a better place. I don't know what else to use to describe her, but to say, may her soul continue, continue to kneel to rest in peace. And um, I love her so much, and I believe everybody here also that knows her, probably have one or two things to say about her. I don't want to get too much involved, or I don't want to talk too much, because it's going to get me so emotional in this. I really miss her. I do miss her a lot. So all, all I'm gonna say is just thank you, thank you everybody for coming through, all part of the states for making this possible out of the country. 
God bless you. She's watching and she's smiling up in heaven. She's really smiling up in heaven. These are my children. My children are here to celebrate life after death. God bless you all. Please give him a round of applause, Mr. Abiodun Agbusasa. All right, the next victim, I'm sorry. The next person that I would like to call to say one or two things about our beautiful Mamo is no other but Mrs. Bibi Oluleye. Please give her a round of applause. She's a very beautiful lady, uh, but she's married. In case there's any onion of if ah, oh, sorry. church in her Sunday's best and then she's watching church again all day and the next minute she's asking sister Omi and Uncle Femi to buy her something off of one of those like commercials on TV that was like her favorite thing to do she always wanted to buy some CD from TD Jakes or a book or something or like mama stop buying things like you're ordering too much you know but that was just something that she did that was really fun for her and mama and I were really really close I mean that was my gist partner I remember when I first had my boyfriend, well, who's now my husband, and my mom was the only person I felt safe to tell. And I didn't even tell my mom, but she knew that I had a boyfriend, and she wouldn't tell Uncle Femi or Sister Wumi because she knew I would get in trouble. Um, so we would, you know, every time we would just, she was always asking me about the guy I was talking to, you know, how we met and things of that nature. And she was even talking to my boyfriend at the time as well. So my boyfriend got to talk to her as well. So it was, it was just really, really fun. My mom was really easy to talk to. She was really like a friend and a mom at the same time. And at the same time, my mom was also very gifted in the word of God. You know, she was always available to pray for you and just uplift you if you were going through anything. Even though I really down times and I was going through like teenage problems, crying all the time. She would talk to me and she was just really easy to talk to and just a blessing and Obviously, we all miss her, and I just pray that she'll continue to rest in perfect, perfect peace. Um, I don't want to bore you guys too much, but Mama was really, really a fun person to be around. Please give her a round of applause. Yeah. What's, one thing she said that stood out the most to me was that when she had her first boyfriend, then she emphasized on it that She's married to him now. So, some of us that had many girlfriends before we got married, you know, you want us to feel somehow, Abby? Please celebrate her once again. Please put your hands together for her. That was beautiful Mrs. Bibi Olule. And last but not the least, this is the first grand child of Mama. The first grandchild of Mama. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to give her a special round of applause because she's the one that Mama, I heard Mama really loves a lot. She's beautiful, she's intelligent. Please put your hands together for one and only beautiful Jasmine. Children feel very special. 
Um, I learned so much from her, just from watching her interact with other people. And the greatest compliment I ever received was when she said I'm compassionate like her. Um, and though it makes me sad to think the last time I was in Chicago, I was with her. But I feel better knowing she's at peace now. So, thank you for coming out today. Everybody say, oh. And I promised myself I would not cry tonight, though. That was very, that was a very emotional speech. Jasmine, don't worry. Mama is in a good place now. She's sitting at the right hand side of God Almighty. And she's looking all over all of us. She's making sure we are good. She's praying for us. You know she's a prayer warrior when she's alive. So right there, she's also taking care of us with good prayers and soliciting on our behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate Jasmine once again. Put your hands together for her. All. all right, at this junction, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to give just one or two people. I want to open to the to the to the public. Um, in case we have any mama's friend, church members, or blossom, you know, Kuriko song, or family, that would like to say one or two things about mama before we wrap up this section. Um, I'm going to be looking out for your hands. If you want to say one or two things about mama, please can you wave your hands? Um, I'm just going to pick the first or the first two people. If you want to say one or two things about mama, can you wave? Going, going, and ah, ah, mommy, please um, um, give mommy a round of applause as she majestically step forward. Please give her a round of applause. Celebrate her now. It's not easy to look this beautiful. Uh -uh. Mommy is wearing a touch of blue. I see some sparkles of green. And then she now puts Gele dark. Oh, it's black. Mommy, what's the name of this your style? Tell us. Fashionista. Hey, please give her a round of applause. Since your dress style is fashionista, can I guess that your entire style is shame? <laughs> All right, please tell us your name and go ahead and tell us what you want to tell us about Mamo. My name is Kendi Agbaje. I am Mamo's. We're three girls that were born by my mom. She's the first. My other sister there is the second. And I am the third. I'm the, actually the baby of the family. And she stayed with me before she got really sick and went to the hospital and never came back. We're thanking God for her life. There's a lot that she's done in this world. And I pray that wherever she is, that God will bless her and put her in a place of peace and happiness. That's my wish and prayer for her. She's a very funny lady, but she doesn't, I don't think she thinks she's funny. She would fast, and it used to scare me at a point. She would do 40, and she would finish three days later, she would go for 80, and then she would finish that, she would say, oh, we're doing another 20. I say, what? What, you, don't you eat? If you do this, you're gonna kill yourself. And she said, no, I, I don't eat much anyway, so. And she prays a lot. I love her for the kind of sister that she was for me. She's not perfect, none of us is. But she was a special sister to me. We have had this connection since I was born. And wherever she is before I left home, I always was with her. When I left Nigeria, we were always communicating. When she came to America, I mean, we were always communicating. And when she went to California and wanted to come to Chicago, I actually got my apartment as far as the specification. I want a first floor apartment. I want a place where she won't have to climb the stairs. It will either be a place with an elevator or the place where she can only, you know, she will have to walk a little distance. And I prayed to God about it. And that is exactly what I got. And she stayed there till she got sick and had to go to the hospital. I love her. There is, I have two sisters and I told them before she died, if I'm given the choice to choose again, I will choose both my sisters, regardless. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ride or die kind of person. And my loyalty to them will be for the rest of my life. And with all my family, regardless of what goes on between us, my family is number one. And I love her. I'm going to miss her. Really, really, I am going to miss her. And I wish her blessing and peace. She almost, she almost broke me. I promised myself I won't cry tonight. Please, can you give her a round of applause once again? What stood out the most for me in what she said was that she said if she has the opportunity of choosing again, she's going to choose Mamo and her sister again. Now, I'm going to ask all of you, see that here. Can people say the same thing about you? Uh -huh. If they can't say that about you, please. This is an avenue for us to try and work on ourselves. You can hear people say a lot of nice things about my mom. You know, this life is not going to be forever. Very soon, after many, 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 many years, every one of us, we are going to die. And we're going to give account of our sins. I'm not here to preach, but ladies and gentlemen, if I don't give this mommy this microphone to say something about mama, something in my mind is telling me my tire will have been slashed by, my, by the time I get outside. Please celebrate my beautiful mommy. Give her a round of applause. So at this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to say a word of prayer over the lives of the children of Mamo. I want you to commit them into God's hand. Now, they are an orphan. They don't have father, they don't have mother. I feel like crying for them. But pray that God, who is the father of the fatherless and the mother of the motherless, should be with them commit them to God's hands, that God should continue to protect them, God should continue to provide for them, 
no evil occurrence should happen after the death of mama to any one of them, including their children. Pray that after the demise of mommy, that good things should begin to happen in their lives. Just the way that they, they, mama, they grow old to see mama, their own children will grow old to see them too in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and pray. And don't forget that whatever you say tonight is going back to you in a million folds in Jesus' name. Pray, pray, pray for them. Pray that for everybody who has gathered here to celebrate, God should return us back home to our home is in, in good health and in safe mode in Jesus' name. Pray, 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 pray. Pray. In Jesus' name we are praying. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, please. Thank you. 